Hey guys, Andrew here with Mini Ranch coming at you with another Earth 2 video. Just came off the live stream that the uh, creator and the team out of uh, Australia has just come out with on Twitch and have a consensed uh, list of what was discussed. I'd like to share that with everybody and kind of give my two cents and kind of repeat a con you know, concise down um, like recap of what they were talking about, what we can expect from Earth 2 here in the next few weeks to uh, their long scope of two years or so for uh, some major um, outcomes for their development and phases. So I'm going to go ahead and dive in and if you guys haven't already go ahead and like, subscribe and uh, leave some comments down below and tell me what you guys thought about the stream if you did watch it and uh, if you have any questions of what I'm going to reproduce here from what they had said, i got my notes in front of me, feel free to leave some uh, questions below and hit that like and subscribe button too because I'm going to be coming out with more content and if you like what I'm doing here and the content please let me know and uh, again if you have any questions leave them in the comments I will be actively looking at the comments uh, pretty excited about the uh, the outcome of the uh, stream and what they uh, produce as far as the information so without further ado let's go ahead and dive in and uh, kind of go over what was uh, going on in that stream and what we can expect from Earth 2 and um, if you guys are in the buying process and acquisition go ahead and check out my promo code here uh, get yourself 5% off because I think right now is going to be the perfect time to kind of hop in and get some of that land acquisition now that we know exactly what um, Earth 2 is going to be in the next phases but let's let's dive in and get some information of what came out of that stream here we go alright so like, like I said it's just been a few minutes after the um, live stream has ended it went on for about an hour we got to talk um, or got some influence and some uh, um, uh, feedback from the creator and his team. Um, a lot of good information came out came out of it, and I'll kind of just go briefly over the points. Like they had kind of a small question and answer session from some of the uh, uh, emails and inquiries that they had from the community, and they were addressing some of the concerns, questions, and upcoming um, phases and what kind of a uh, uh, information and, and changes we can expect from those changes but the, they came out first and saying that they um, weren't expecting this much of a growth from um, their project this soon um, the uh, creator Shane actually gave um, uh, indication that in just the last two to three uh, two to four weeks that they were able to grow in a factor of about a year so in the first two to three four weeks they grew what they expected to in the first year or so so they um, they did take off pretty fast even for their standards and were pretty overwhelmed by the influx of community support and community activity and um, I thought it was pretty cool that they uh, uh, kind of showed us their vulnerability there and saying that hey we, we knew it was going to be big but we know it was going to be this big and um, they had their whole team in a uh, kind of a Skype style or um, Team view style with Twitch uh, to kind of view all the members, including um, uh, Dylan, uh, who uh, confirmed his uh, identity as the um, co-founder, one of the co-founders of the Oculus uh, platform, the Oculus VR uh, company. So that was very cool. To and I'm, I hope I'm pronouncing his name right. It's Dylan So or Dylan Sao. Um, he was the uh, co-creator of one of the co-creator team members for the Oculus. So um, definitely gives an insight that the, the VR aspect is uh, definitely there and that they're going to have somebody that was on the ground floor of the VR system for Oculus being part of that uh, of this Earth 2 platform, which is really cool to, uh, to know. And they also um, introduced the, uh, some of the different project leaders in the project uh, for Earth 2, uh, including um, uh, uh, some of the marketing uh, game development, platform development, and, that, and I'll go into those points as I go down the list here. But um, what I'm going to do is kind of just recap of what the question and answer session was about. Uh, one of the first questions the community asked was uh, Dubai being one of the countries that are not available to buy right now. Or, and they um, said there's many factors for that reason of why they uh, are excluding Dubai. A lot of it was to do with, um, um, excuse me, that's my phone going off. Um, multiple factors like religion and uh, social aspects to the area but they do feel within a week or so that they'll have some kind of answer to how to go forward with getting that land opened up um, another question that the community had was if um, you are buying land 
uh, will there be an option later on to split the land or subdivide your purchases and or merge purchases together for one land plot or uh, tile selection at this point they're saying no uh, but uh, they kind of left it in the air if that was going to be something that the community may drive later as a need or a want or um, but at this point a, a no is what Shane the creator was was saying um, they are aware of the withdrawal time lag for your withdrawals for your actual money that you want to take out of the account um, due to the influx of having so much um, user activity and member activity that they are um, experiencing a, a big lag but they're gonna uh, deal with that here in the early stages and in the early next month in January 2021 addressing how to handle that influx but they are aware of it and they're actively working on that uh, as we speak um, this one's this one was actually was one of my questions to the to de developers early on and uh, they addressed it I, I think very elegantly saying that the, um, our famous spots or monuments or landmarks is going to be the determining factor of wealth or worth or tradability of the land in earth too and uh, the founder did say that it's going to be a good idea for long term being that we have a recognizable uh, familiarity with these spots on Earth 1 or, or Earth and then Earth 2 being a recreation like people are going to know that uh, you know the Grand Canyon obviously is, is something of a landmark in the United States and that it's it continued to be uh, a landmark um, on Earth 2 but maybe not in the same aspect because they are going to give kind of a, um, a user creatability to whatever extent but they're going to He's actually came out saying that it probably would be a good idea to have some of these hotspots as a long-term investment or long-term usability for the members. So I thought that was pretty cool for them to address. Um, the big one that everybody was talking about and everybody's been asking for the last uh, couple weeks at least, uh, if not all the way to the beginning of this launch um, about four weeks ago, is the terrain system. And um, uh, the game developer or the uh, team manager there um, did... Uh, make a statement that they are going to re-render the whole earth uh, uh, and scrap it down to a um, kind of like a clean slate and that there's going to be a terrain system released in about a week or two uh, to render the entire earth and have a um, um, kind of a clean slate in which to start from so you won't see the buildings you won't see the monuments you won't see this um, the man-made structures that you see on earth one Earth two is going to be the land that you know it as Earth, but with no uh, human interaction, kind of a, like a day one kind of situation, which is huge because that was kind of unknown for a long time if that was going to be the case. And um, them coming out with that, and they're saying that phase two is going to be um, uh, here in a couple of days, or at least details are uh, going to be updated in a couple of days to the next week. Uh, early days of January, um, but the terrain aspect or the terrain system that they're going to be um, implementing is that uh, it's going to suffice at least the first year or two of the gaming platform for um, Earth 2, so whatever they're going to be releasing in the near future is going to sustain the community for at least the next year or two um, based on the terrain system, so that's good to know that they're um, looking forward to how long that first phase is going to sustain the community. Um, Dylan and Shane <laughs> both came out, I guess this is one of the big questions they had and uh, if they were the same person or not or if they were even real and that's what I really like is that this this kind of uh, impromptu um, uh, Twitch or stream that they put out was mainly just to um, uh, show their face just to, to make sure that people saw a real live person talking to them rather than it's just an email or a picture on their site uh, they wanted to come out even with them and uh, with all the influx they they needed to show the community that hey we're real we're here um, and we're just like you we have a vision we want to implement it and um, Regardless of the fact that uh, uh, it's you know a year's worth of influx in a few weeks, we did need to show that we are real. <laughs> I guess there was some debate if Dylan and Shane were just made up people, and they did show their face. And again, if you haven't seen the the, the stream that they came out on t on Twitch, and uh, sorry for the uh, my phone there. Um, 
a lot of people in my community. I have a, a Discord group, and I'll leave a link to that above too. I've been texting me and, and then messaging me in the Discord chat. That it's 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 starting to take off. So I'm getting a lot of people asking questions of what I thought, and hopefully I'm uh, reproducing this in a way everybody can benefit from it. There's a lot of information here, and I'll keep going with it. Uh, but yes, they are real. They're there, and um, you can tell that they have been tirelessly working and and um, I think they knew that they needed to come out with this information and come out with a live uh, kind of almost like a press report um, uh, to show that yeah hey we're we're here we weren't ready for this but we're we're gonna work hard for you guys for the vision um, and um, they, they after <laughs> after that they did reiterate that the buildings roads everything that is on earth now is going to be removed clean slate and they're going to have an overlay model in which the user that has the purchased land will be able to do what they want with that land um, on a clean slate and they're going to have the, the owner of that land is going to have first choice of what to do with it and they did indicate that their vision is going to be not only can you build on that land or use that land or use the resources of that land that they're going to allow you to have interaction with other members uh, for either rent, renting or letting others build on that property and etc um, but they're, they're kind of giving the members complete control of how they're going to interact with each other, how they're going to react, interact with the land, and um, I think that's a really good vision where there's going to be a pure sandbox feel to this, where it's just going to be uh, kind of like homesteading or, or land staking and starting from scratch and, um, you know, sky's the limit, um, imagination, run wild kind of stuff. Um, they did go into some of the more technical questions, like, uh, for instance, they had a satellite versus map overlay of how the uh, mapping system has worked and how accurate your land purchase is based on where it is. For instance, if you saw a satellite image uh, and just the mapping image, um, the land, for instance, if you're on a coastal region, there was a little bit off. They're saying that uh, leaning towards the satellite uh, image that they have is what they're going to pr try to reproduce as your purchase, but um, that was more of a like just a reassurance that what you pot, what you're buying is what you're buying as far as as the land based on this satellite view, not necessarily like the the Google Maps style uh, overlay. So if you are buying land or researching land, check out the satellite version or um, view of the land. Number one, but uh, that was just kind of a side note that they were trying to reassure that that was correct in the satellite overlay. Um, they also went in to say that they have not monetarily or promoted or given anybody any money or paid anybody to have any kind of promotion. They're working as the team. They don't have any promotions going out there, so they're not paying members to hype or, or try to um, entice or anything like that. They they want it to pretty much stand on its own legs uh, and, and grow from the community almost from the inside out. So they're not they're not paying anybody or promoting anybody or having any promotions. So if anybody says they are or they're being paid, they've been uh, sure that nobody isn't or nobody is being paid to endorse E2 or Earth2 in any aspect. Um, um, they did go into how the resources are going to be handled in the game. Uh, and game, again, is the term I'm using. They don't use the term game too much. They're more of a platform or an experience. But the resources are going to have some correlated um, relationship uh, to the actual resource and land. So if you were on a gold mine or a water source, it is going to translate in most aspects to the E2, Earth 2 um, terrain system. Um, uh, with some randomization that they said, and plus uh, they're looking forward to the, uh, the users and the members actually uh, taking the resources and maybe even changing the way those resources are used in the form of terraforming or any kind of other um, envisioned uh, plan. But again, they're going to they're going to attack that as it comes up and how the community uh, reacts to that. But they are going to kind of marry the resources of Earth One to Earth Two in a um, relationship manner there, and they are. They did um, mention that uh, they are actively listening to the community in different Discord groups and whatnot, uh, and Twitch uh, uh, chat groups and whatnot, and they're listening to what people are looking for and what people uh, have questions on, so they are listening to you guys in the best they can with the influx, so if you do have concerns, reach out to them, 
they just say you know hang with them they will get to the questions that they as they come in and, and um, they're trying to handle that the best they can with you know what they have um, another thing that they they did mention is that the PvP question is there going to be a PvP uh, aspect to the game and it is is yes but they're not forcing the PvP experience on everybody you can have a PvE or just you interacting with the environment and um, sorry my screen went off there but um, that I thought was very very much like the um, World of Warcraft where you can choose PvP versus PvE and uh, choose to be interactive with members or just have the experience by yourself so that was very cool that they were able to confirm that um, a question that came up uh, I, I, they either grabbed it from the chat there in the twitch forum or they um, had this question already but uh, they were um, asking is there a project roadmap and uh, kind of like a mission statement or what their plans are uh, they don't have one um, produced or out on their site but what they're saying is that as it grows that will be known they're playing it by ear a little bit too kind of like their vision versus the community's vision and how to mirror that up um, uh, obviously one of the big questions are where is this going is this is, is this going to be especially with Dylan being their uh, co-founder uh, of Oculus is the VR phase where this is going is it only going to be VR and they confirmed that uh, yes and no uh, VR is going to be an aspect but it's not going to be the main feature it's going to be a platform based based in a computer uh, platform which is pretty much what it is now on their website for the acquisition of land but it's going to be a platform for the PC um, and maybe even console but VR is not going to be the only aspect it's going to be one aspect where it's not going to be the main but it's going to be a usability uh, based on VR in, in further phases a lot of questions came up is this a scam is this fake um, and you know how else can you they put their names out there they put their faces out there they were live on stream uh, they released where they were located in Australia as far as their company base um, their uh, credibility with PayPal and uh, and whatnot so as best they could they you know without uh, you know, I don't know how, how else to uh, say that they explained it, but they they reconfirmed by just being there in person is is a good first step, and releasing all the information as far as who they are, where they're from, what they're doing on the project, uh, how they started with it, and who they are, where uh, where the company is, uh, was a big step, and that's uh, I think alleviated a lot of pressure on what this is and what the intentions are. Um, from my personal aspect and my per personal view of what I gathered from the uh, uh, interview or the uh, press release here is that, uh, that you can see the genuineness in their their um, their actions and talk and, and uh, what they said. Um, you can tell that they've been working tire uh, tirelessly and um, that they have been working very hard to make sure that the community is reinforced with that. Um, uh, one of the another technical question they had is that one phase two and three and the later phases come out and you are um, a landowner and you may have a neighbor that's right next to you that's a landowner um, will you be able to see what they're building or how will we uh, view neighbors and uh, right now they don't have a projection how that's going to work is your neighbor going to build a skyscraper and you're going to look to the left and see uh, that it's a skyscraper in front of you they don't have that answer yet, but they're going to take the community's kind of, um, uh, you know, influx to see how that works. Um, like I said earlier in the uh, discussion here that they are operating out of Australia, uh, Brisbane, Australia. Uh, you can look them up on Google now and you can see where their, um, their company is located. Shane being the creator and founder and uh, their team there. And if again, if you haven't seen the stream, please do so it's it, it was very informative this is just kind of a recap um, that way you can just get the information real faster um, right now it's only PayPal for uh, buying land uh, they use PayPal uh, because of its kind of a trusted system and the um, uh, security systems they have in place so there's no fraudulent or money laundering aspects to the purchasing 
Um, I think that's a smart move for now, especially with the fact that they're so influxed with people that using a known platform as PayPal for their transaction was a smart move. And obviously as they start um, hiring more people, which they did indicate that they were going to be doing here in the next few days to a week of hiring people to handle this influx, that um, they probably will have their own infrastructure at some point. But I think PayPal is a good move for them to start with. Um, they also touched on the fact that they will be coming out with a ISO or Android based app, but it's not going to be the same as the console or PC platform aspect. It's going to be more of like a view only, at least in the initial uh, um, realm of the app. Um, so it looks like the usability is going to be on a um, PC platform style rather than a, a Android or ISO style but they're more worried about getting that platform out first and then the um, uh, app version as a uh, secondary or, or um, addition to. Um, they are actively getting the, um, the pay structure and the pay uh, back or withdrawal um, solidified and now they're, they're literally going process, uh, transaction per transaction even the, even the uh, owner or the uh, creator himself says he sits down there at night and actually does the transactions to help out these this lag that's happening with his influx. So uh, they're very hands-on, and uh, it was nice to hear that they it's, it's not just uh, a faceless uh, crunching of numbers. It's actually a team of people. Um, they did indicate that this was just a kind of like a meet and greet press release. Here we are, welcome to E2 kind of thing. But they are going to come out with a question and answer coming soon, um, in which they are going to answer more one on one questions or more pressing questions that they come up. But guys, this was really informative. It was really um, exciting to hear all the um, uh, different questions in the chat. Uh, I think that's something that being in the chat with the um, the Twitch stream was informative. You can see the real time questions. They weren't answering every single one, but they did their best to answer the core questions. And uh, I think this is the time and the, the, the groundbreaking uh, time to get involved. Again, if you guys are interested in buying land, please use my code, get 5% off. I get 5% as well. Uh, I will be reinvesting that into actual land and in future videos, maybe even doing some kind of land giveaways for the support here on my channel. But please leave some questions down in the comments below because those are going to be very useful to kind of educate the community. And hey, I, I'm learning as you guys are too. So uh, information by the minute kind of stuff. But um, um, my community over here on our Discord group, and I'll put that in the link. Uh, above or even below in the description so you guys can hop in ask me some questions ask my community some questions they are pretty informative we've been helping each other out and um, as information comes we're dissecting it investigating it uh, looking into it and uh, strategies whatnot but with all this information just came out we are going to be pretty wide-eyed as a, as as um, next few days to a few weeks come out especially in the beginning of January here what E2 turns into and how it evolves. So again, like, subscribe, hit that notification button. I'm gonna come out with content as I get it. Um, the stream just only ended a half an hour ago, so this information comes straight to you as I got it. I hope I condensed it down quickly enough for you guys to um, experience what I experienced in the live stream there. And if you guys have any questions or if I cover something too fast, please leave a comment and uh, I'll try to get those uh, answers out fast. Oh, well, guys, uh, that's gonna be enough for me tonight. Uh, I've been up <laughs> pretty pretty late the last few nights, um, and I'm tired too. So, but not tired enough where I'm still kind of jazzed up and ready to get back in there and see what's going on. But thank you guys, like, subscribe. I'll see you next time.